Na'Vi, I mean the Drow Strat, some of them we saw them run a lot of times at Dream League, some of them they're very comfortable in. Some of them they normally tend to do in a series where they are a game up, and they want to just give it a shot and uh, see if they can just absolutely walk away with the game. And we're going to see here both of the runes uh, being slightly contended. Well, we'll see a bit more space down on the bottom for uh, the Drow to grab a free on top. We'll see if anyone catches anyone. Well, they've got a crush onto Pylar Dyer. Na'Vi moving in. They're going to find it. First Flood for Dendi as they take down Pi on the Witch Doctor. Yeah, he snuck and took the rune, so doesn't hurt Pi, but it helps Na'Vi. When yeah. your mid player can get things going with a first blood early on, already faring himself a salve, this is going to be a, a very tough mid lane. <laughs> what our salve's doing here in the early game. All right, well, towards the mid lane as well, we are going to see. Putting him towards the top. Oh, with the shackle, Dendi. Uh, just playing. I think that's TP's in. Maybe they could try and find something. You have Snake Hook coming and giving Denny the boost to General Slytherin him ready to close down the gap. Oh, Teasy, he's gone. This is the Navi synergy we saw last game. They give up a... Available. I just... CS and harassment. I love how fast placed art style plays. He spends a couple minutes being very annoying, zoning uh, the enemy junglers, and then he immediately goes, grabs two creeps, and he's on the move to gank mid lane. Yeah. And I'll look at this again, Dendi setting up with a shackle, and as you wrap around, indeed as you were saying, Artizi, he will get the torrent off. I don't know if it's going to be enough to save him, as Dendi and Artstar, one more touch from the edge will do it. And another kill onto the Kunkra in the mid lane. But uh, uh, is it going to be a similar playstyle to last game, where they look to constantly keep up the split and, and, and try and get that farm on their cores, or is this more role, you know, a draft oriented towards team fighting and well, again in the mid lane. RTZ, he will torrent around himself, but General walks out, walks back in, and again, the place so much Dendi hate. Involved. Yeah, let's see what he can do, but the crush yeah, holds him back already. It's going to allow Dendi to get himself out of harm's way. In fact, they'll turn, they'll look for the shackle. Oh, they're going to get it. Oh, they are going to get it, and back in. Oh, Dendi, the wall has been dropped here, but Dendi, he's got the back of a Seneca. Envy getting taken down. Dendi with the kill. I mean, I, this is, again... Uh, that's a I mean, no, I guess. <laughs> is there literally? <laughs> that's that's literally a, mi a, a misclick. Maybe he wants to build one into Helm and one into Vlad, and then they stack. <laughs> the <l> ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that one off the Dendi, he's gone. Uh, secret. They're finding. What well, can they find themselves anything more here? They're searching RTZ forward. Um, yeah. Dyer's bottom tower. He's still working attack. on that one, gods. I mean, you're the analyst. What's going on there? Radiance top tower. Come on, there must be something really smart that we just <laughs> can't. I'm just, I'm just shrugging my shoulders here. I mean, is this There's, the, no, the ultimate BM victory? Defeating Secret with two Morbid Masks? Could be. Could be. Still second on the net worth, but. It's the mistake has uh, has been Radiant's hidden. He's probably hoping that no one saw it. We did did Gerard, don't worry. Well, they're jumping in onto MV. They've got the Amplify, they've got the damage. Well, if they bring Dendi, and they certainly have. And Envy getting taken down, and I guess this is one of the strengths of just running the IO against the Klinks. It makes it so hard for the Klinks to find this this kind of action across the map aggressively. Because Na'Vi will be there to punish it. And for now, he's managed to at least create space for the greedy Beastmaster jungle, as well as the like the Darkseer that can bounce with the top with the relocate. They have caught Envy out. The Amplifies down, and he's gone. He nearly. Very close to taking down Seneca in response, but isn't going to be the case. They get away with another kill onto the Klinks. Na'Vi is continuously finding the, the, the action that they need, and, and the fact that you just look at the, the difference between Ditchera and Envy, and Burnett, it's 2k in net worth now. Dendi, oh, he's not going to get this shackle onto a hero, but well, it'll take a boar or two. And he gets the second one, that's, that's going to be pretty nice. Yep, phases in, takes that. I mean, two boars, it's, it's known to laugh at. His clinks, but the rest of the team, the Darkseer Kunker, they've drafted much more towards team fighting. They're itemizing towards team fighting with the Crimson Guard on Puffy as well. Oh, and they've caught again. Envy again. Straight up. He's trying to run. That's all he can do. He certainly can't hide. And this man should be nothing less than a dead one as General. He's got a blink available. Jumps up. One more touch to the clinks and he's gone. General and the boys finding yet another. And it's, I think it's, yeah, the, the sentry there on the high ground pretty much yeah. spotted Klinks as he came down. With so they the knew he was round. Too. Yeah. And that's something you see teams like the really yeah. kind of proactive teams do. And you can do it be able to read Klinks' movement and find those kills. So Na'Vi going to find themselves another outer tower here. 
teacher, uh, Dragonlance Yasha. I was gonna look at Geno, he was maybe eyeing up jumping in, and he will. He's gonna get punished here by the combination of spells from Artor. Now, moving as well, the IO is not gonna be enough to save. The Slardar, now with the wall drop, this could be secret turning this one around. They're looking for Artstar, but he's already got the heals up. Dichara trying to run away from Puppy. And see if they do manage to find a Drow as well. They need this secret, and they will get it. A second kill for secret there on the defense. So this time, for what seems to be the first time in this uh, whole series, Na'Vi making a bit of a blunder, and secret are there to punish it. I think Na'Vi are going to have to adjust. Have their calls perhaps prioritize earlier BKBs, just so they don't die to the X initiation. Uh, then the BKBs oh. act as the counter to it. The found envy as well. The silence into the crush. Amplifying, he melts. Deja vu all over again with poor Jackie. He is certainly falling, falling down the ranks. And as we can see now at a point where, you know, the Slard are pretty much on the same net worth level as this Kalinx at this point. And with the relocate top, the action is not stopping for Na'Vi. They'll jump in onto Puppy. He'll get the roll onto Seneca. The Crimson Guard doing a fair bit. And it might just keep alive. And over the combo for Secret. They're turning it here. They take down Seneca. They take down Dendi. But she's going to get anything more. It looks like General Teacher on Artstar will be able to escape. But we are seeing the Wombo from Secret can certainly punch back hard. The BKBs, Wind Ranger now with an Aghanim Scepter. Slada has the Blink Force. They can go. For, they're going to try to find some pickups. I like the idea of like trying to initiate, get a pick off, and then not, Secret aren't going to look to try and team fight if they've yeah. already lost. And, and this is good as well because Seneko he is ready to bring Dendi in, and he will just to make sure they've got the damage to do with RTG University there with the vacuum. The wall RTG is already dead. He does get the bow down. It's not going to connect. There'll be a roar from Puppy coming out towards us. Seneko trying to get himself out with the urn as well, but MV is there to close them off. We'll take down the IOs. A one for one trade at the moment now. MV looking for the chase down onto Dendi. Yeah, it's nice. Not going to be a kill that he's getting. Dendi blinks out. Keeps himself alive, so just a one for one. But again, Seneko giving his life. They get the kill onto Arteezy. Walls also drop for that from Secret. So Na'Vi will be happy, and they're not done. They're looking for more. Jumping straight in onto Pi with the crush. General needs a bit more backup, and it is on its way. Then he's there, throws out the shackle, goes scepter. It doesn't matter. They'll just wait it out. He's been silenced up. No escape for the Wiz Doctors. Arsenal sits on the sideline, chucks in the impetus. Oh, he drops to the vacuum. MV starts revealing himself, looking for Arsenal, but they just turn Pound back into the clink. The old three keeping every love as he still goes down to the, the box there from the lightning. So they do find him. Dichara, he goes down, but he had the ages. He's back. These fights is just getting right clicked down by the clinks as well as other heroes, and having a ghost scepter can really make his life a lot easier. And Roshan not quite up yet, and General ooh, tries to link it onto Puppy, but Puppy's reactions are on point, and MV from the high ground, he's actually trying to fight into this one, but there's a hell of a lot of RV here, and mv has gone, the vacuum wall will be dropped, but Seneko intended to just walk it off, art style as well, stopping Puppy from being able to follow up, and MV just caught out of place, and Secret, they've got to be careful, make sure that this doesn't get any messier, as they're just on the retreat at the moment, Dendi, he's going to find Pi as well, and I hate to say it, but this feels very reminiscent of some of the fights we saw Secret try and take in game one. And you have Beastmaster isolating a hero with a blink roar as well. You're going to win team fights. You're not actually that worried about your opponents having ages. Look at the smoke up for Navi. They might just catch out Envy again. Envy's coming around. Did they get vision though? Generally, he's already got eyes onto Arteezy. He's going to go in straight for a crush right in front of Secret. The Shackle Shot will be there. The Grease and the Crimson Guard coming out now with a vacuum. Trying to slow down the aggression of Navi, but then he pops the BKB. Continues to try and move forward onto Arteezy. He's not going to find it. They just turn towards Envy. Take down the Glinks instead. And now with the Impetus flying for onto Pilot Eye, forcing him back. Navi now getting the space to move up onto the tier three. With Envy dead for a minute, I mean, do you just let this go, or, or may, may we see him buy back here? Next vacuum, they, they've got vacuum in five seconds, which is Dyer's when they may reinitiate. But it seems like they are going to at least let the tier three go Dyer's down. Well, now onto the racks, and of course the pushing power from Na'Vi, incredibly strong. Turn on to Arsenal, General on the back line, jump straight onto Pilot Dead, there's your vacuum wall onto two, but the follow-up just isn't there for the time being. Art style, Dyer's he'll survive through it, they'll take down the melee racks. Arteezy again looking for the torrent follow through. General and Arstal being held close together there by the paralyzing cast. Arteezy coming forward. And finds himself back out. General will get taken down by the death hook. Pi is the ghost center out in time. They're going to continue to chase this one, Na'Vi. They should find it and they will. A double kill for Dendi. As his Wind Ranger performance is just ripping through the side. And now a second set of racks going down. Puppy comes forward. Dijirak gets the BKB off and now he just turns. Pushes Puppy back with the gust. Puppy He's going to get taken down as well. It's a triple kill for Dendi. Two dead on secret now without buyback. 
This is looking to be potentially the end of the road here for Secret in this first series. They will be knocked down to the lower stages of this GSL format of the groups. And there we have it. GG is called. Dendi gets a rampage. And... What a fitting way I mean, there. what... <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dendi this game on his Wim Ranger. I, I, I really feel that at the moment in the scene, he's one of the, Wim, the players that can still bring Wim Ranger back to where she used to be. You know, there was that... The kind of meta where Wind Ranger would destroy games. Na'Vi sh uh, and Dendi showing that it still can be there. But again, I just feel you can't really just talk about a single, single person's performance on Na'Vi because it's just the team as a whole. It's how everything fit together. It's actually one of the old school secret strats where you get the yeah. Wind Ranger with the slider. You amplify the focus fire damage output. You had the Joe Ranger then, which was like your bit of Na'Vi flair into the strategy as well. Secret never really came together as a team. Universe, by the way, ends the game with zero deaths.